Brian and Kenzie in the morning and Chicago's alternative all day. Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Nathaniel checking in from Lombard said he really needed this today. Just one of those days where you don't want to wake up. Everything is, everybody sucks. You don't really know why, but you want to justify ripping someone's head off. No human contact. And if you interact, your life is on contract. Your best bet is to stay away, mother. It's just one of those days. It's all about the he says, she says, bulls. I think you better quit. Let it slip. Or you'll be leaving with a all right, there you go, Nathaniel, checking in from Lombard and all the people in Lombard. That was for you, specifically this morning. Mm-hmm. Brian and Kenzie, Q101, give us that proof of life check-in, 312-591-8300 at 604. 64 degrees, going to be in the 70s, and we'll get to the, a lot today. Golden Ticket obviously launches, relaunches, restarts today. 630, your chance at everything Q101 does for an entire year. 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, and 9.30. Make sure you're part of the party and don't miss out on it because uh, it's moving. And, you know, you, you can't trust a friend to win and take you as their plus one to everything we do free for an entire year. You can't no, trust true. that. true. Because, like, what if they, you may have this single friend you know, that's perfect and just has luck will have it. They'll find the love of their life the next day. You I just, you, you, you got to focus on this for yourself. Hate when that happens. It's the worst. You know, when you're, when you're stupid love. <laughs> when you're a single friend that you always can rely on. Yeah. And then they get somebody and then they ghost you. Yeah. You're like, listen, Who, I've always been here, baby. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? Who was there when you were like, you up? And you said, me. Like, what's I'm going on? I'm not doing anything. Yeah, what do you, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> Who, were they? Who was that person? So, uh, again, 630, that's coming up here uh, with Brian and Kenzie on Q101 and every on the bottom of the hour. Every every half hour or every hour this morning, the words are active for an hour. So uh, mm-hmm. be aware of that. And, uh, yeah, give, give us a check-in from the weekend. We'll have the highlights of the weekend coming up at 640. Uh, a lot for you today. The Brian and Kenzie Show. Q101. We're about 10 minutes away from the golden ticket, so we'll get to the fact. And then right after that, actually before it, we'll do that. Right before the fact, we will give you the first key word of the day. To get you into everything Q101 does for an entire year from Riot Fest to Riot Fest. Uh, but first, it is time for a fact that makes your brain go. Now, usually I ignore these days, but today's pretty special. These kind of days. National Potato Day is today. Ow, ow! Hell yeah. What was, Hell that so- yeah. what was that sound again, Case? Ow, ow! I like, I'm so into <laughs> potatoes. Yeah. Well, you're going to find out a lot of interesting facts. See if you're normal, above average, below average. <laughs> with the with average... your love for potatoes? <laughs> no, with different factors of potatoes with Chicago ones. Like, for example. Uh, <laughs> below average? For potatoes? You could be. On how often you eat them. What's your favorite dipping sauce? Where the best fries are? Um, the best style of cut? All those things. My favorite kind of potato is mashed, baby. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, what about That's you, Case? That's comfort blanket. Yeah. What are the types of potatoes? Well, I, I wanted to wait and get Any? the... Any? What do you mean? It's potato day. <laughs> well, the types of potatoes <laughs> we're going to... gratin, mashed, baked, loaded. We're thinking more regular fries. Fries. Curly fries. Curly. Thick cut, which are the steak fries. Waffle. Waffle. <laughs> uh, crinkle cut. Ooh. <laughs> now, if you're a real baller, I'm not getting ahead of ourselves here. What? You dunk your crinkle cut into mashed potatoes. Ooh. Like <laughs> Especially if it's garlic mash, because oh. now you have a garlicky, buttery sauce. Yeah, or gravy. Uh-huh. You take a little, mm. little of gravy and put it in the middle. Yeah. You dunk the crinkle in there. You put extra salt on your, like, I get, oh. my, I get my garlic buttery mashed. <laughs> And I'm like, do you have any more butter and salt? Because, like, that's all. It needs to just taste like I'm eating butter and salt. Thank you. Because I do that all the time, and I feel like I'm an outlier. Absolutely not. I, say, I need more butter and your salt shaker. Something's wrong with this little jammed up. It's not coming out <laughs> fast enough because I'll open it up and start tapping it and dunk it in like the salt. Oh, absolutely. Or when I, when I have a baked potato, the second it's absorbed all the ingredients, I want more. Like a loaded like baked I potato? To, yes, I need to see it. I need to, oh. see, the, I need to <laughs> see the butter melting on it. 
because it absorbs quickly into the skin. Once it's absorbed, I need more. I need it wet. I need a wet potato. How did I know we were going to get way too into it before I got <laughs> to the actual fact? Like, we're actually doing it right now, yeah. almost. Oh. But there's other factors coming up, like the sauce, like uh, which are the best fries out there. Mm -hmm. You know, I had French fries every day this weekend, Friday, Saturday, <laughs> and Sunday. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> and I had a hamburger with it. I ate three hamburgers and three orders of fries, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Good and they were you. all incredible. Were they all from different places? Yes. Hit um, me with the locations. So Friday was a, fir a first-timer farm bar in my neighborhood up in uh, Ravenswood or Lakeview, whatever you want to call it. Like the club, the farm, the new one? Uh, no, it's a restaurant called Farm Bar. Oh, okay. And there's, there's one of them in Lakeview, one in Ravenswood oh, on Montrose. Okay. Unbelievable double stacked double burger. Stacked. And their fries were outstanding. Now, what kind of fries were they? How were they cut? Just regular kind of more, not as thick as steak fries, but mm -hmm. kind of like Five Guys fries. I don't, okay. I don't know what you call that, regular fries. Regular, regular. I yeah. like it. I had those mm -hmm. on... Let's see. That was Friday. <laughs> now, what, wait, what, what burger and fry did you have Saturday? A place called Avenue Bar, which is up on Lincoln near mm -hmm. the Paulina Brown Line stop, which is a it's a newer place. It's been there forever, but it's changed names a couple times. Never been there as this name. Avenue Tap and Pub, I think. Delicious burger and fry. Same thing. Cut the same way okay, as like the other place. Okay, a traditional place. fry. More yes. of a McDonald's-style thickness. Yes. Got it. Now, what about... A little thicker, though. A little thicker little than McDonald's. A little thicker. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Yesterday... I can't believe I'm getting all this. <laughs> Yesterday, I grilled out a burger on my Weber grill. My Weber electric grill, which mm -hmm. is the Lumen, which is unbelievable, and did the burger, and then Megan just made... Orida fries bought at the store. Oh, okay. Still an oldie, but a goodie. But they were also, they were steak cut, and they were maybe the best of all weekend. Now, did you fry them yourself? Did you put them in, like, bubbling grease, or just heat them up in, like, a in, in, a in the oven? oven? Even in the oven on a cookie sheet with avocado mm -hmm. oil. Put a little seasoning soy on Salt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So that's what I did all weekend. Those were my meals. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, everyone's 40 in the studio. Yeah. <laughs> so that. it's National Potato Day. We'll still go over if, if you're below or above average or right on spot for how often you eat fries. I'm above average already, I'll tell you. But what kind, the dipping sauce, and the favorite cut. All those things coming up in the fact. Plus, the golden ticket, the first key word of the day. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. is your chance to qualify for the golden ticket. Please don't text and drive. Standard message and data rates apply. Q101. Here we go. First one of the day and every hour all week as it goes through this show, of course, with uh, Lauren O'Neill and Brian Phillips. So text the word baller, B-A-L-L-E-R. Now, the reason we have that word, Kenzie, is Case Kenny Mass asked me, can I use that word as a keyword? And he said, because you'll be like a baller if you win the golden ticket. Oh, okay. Ballin'. Kenzie approves as well. Oh, Jim Jones, baby. Thank God. <laughs> so, baller's easy to spell, too. B A L L E R. Mm -hmm. I hope that's easy to spell. Baller. So, text baller to 312 591. You say it like Weird Al, baby. 8300. How do I how does he say it? Like baller. You'd be like nerdy with it. Baller. Because we're not spelling it like ballin'. Like what's, the good way. What song does he do where he says that? Ballin'. <laughs> He does what's that? Who so did who? I, You know him all in. Weird Al did that? No, Jim Jones. Oh, you said Weird Al. Yeah, because he goes baller. Ah, <laughs> God, I thought it was a Weird Al cover I didn't know about. <laughs> all right, so make sure you text baller, B A L L E R, to 312 591 8300 for your chance to win. You get uh, Chromio tickets at the Aragon just for qualifying from our great friends at Live Nation. And then, of course, qualify for the golden ticket. Everything we do for an entire year. From Riot Fest to Riot Fest, Twisted, Lounges, Lollapalooza, shows we haven't even announced yet. You will be there. Thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of free concert tickets for you. So get in on it. Text BALLER right now. Now for a fact that makes your brain go. National Potato Day. <laughs> ow, ow! <laughs> now, normally we don't do these uh, cheesy holidays. No pun intended on the potatoes. You see. Uh -oh. It's loaded and cheesy holidays. Case, I was just telling Kenzie in the break there about the best loaded baked potato I ever had. <laughs> Listen. What, do you remember, like, it's prom night? Yes. Oh, Listen, it was, it was... we've been exchanging potato stories <laughs> in this room ever since. And it was on my birthday when Megan took me to Gibson's for my birthday. I remember this. And... We had a gift card from her, my mother-in-law for like $200, so we were like getting, we were getting apps besides uh -huh. the steaks and everything. Uh, thanks for the invite. 
It was my birthday with my wife. I, you don't want me there? Hazel's such a mood. <laughs> <laughs> it's his response to everything. Are you met a mascot without me? I'm like, I was at the Ronald McDonald house for charity. Yeah, and Grimace and, was there, so I should have been there. Yeah, and he's like, he makes it about him. I'm like, he was there for the children. <laughs> like me. No. So I, you know, I ordered the loaded baked potato, me and Megan. And I had no idea what I was getting into when you get that at Gibson's, the loaded baked potato. Uh, let me guess, it was a potato? Well, it was the size of a football. Oh, really? An NFL football. Oh, hell yes. And it was... A regulation. <laughs> yeah, not right. like a deflated Tom Brady football, yeah, was not, it? Not the Nerf football. This was a regulation oh. NFL football-sized potato with so much real butter, no margarine, like real butter, Tons mm. of fatty sour cream, not the light sour cream. Oh, light sour cream's ass. Oh, uh, tons oh, of cheese <laughs> and bacon bits and like, chives. I like when it's like thick shredded. You know when it's like finely shredded? I'm not into that. Did it have the thicker slices? It was the yeah, the thick chunks. But I do <laughs> like the, I like the fine. I like the fine I don't a little like more. The fine. If I'm melting it in the sauce, it's fine. But otherwise, like you know, yeah. don't be a wussy about <laughs> it. <laughs> well. I had no idea, and I said, we're finishing this potato. Uh -huh. I'm not, I mean, I, we were too full by that point, but I said, I'm finishing it because we were going to Rosa's Lounge afterward for a show, for a blue show. And as I told Kenzie, you can't bring the potato. <laughs> <laughs> as I told Kenzie, I'm not bringing this potato to a blues bar. <laughs> I can't do it. I have absolutely, without a doubt, been like, Listen, you can suck it. I'm not throwing this ribeye away. It's like it's going to towel with me. Yeah. Or whatever, and I have my little takeout bag. You're eating it like in your hand, like, like it's, it's a too bad. candy. I absolutely tuck my purse into it. So that was the best loaded baked potato I ever had was Gibson's. Boy, I've plugged a lot of places today. Farm Bar, Avenue Pub and Tap on in the north your side. House. My house. <laughs> your I Weber out. Grill. Yeah, my Weber Grill. And of course, uh, Gibson's now with their loaded I want baked that potato. potato. More than anything ever. <laughs> if I go to Gibson's right now, I'd just get a potato, not yeah. even a steak. You'd have to always knock on the door like and it's get like them open. Like McAllister's or something, I would just get a potato <laughs> yeah. only. I will have a glass of water and a loaded baked potato. <laughs> <laughs> One potato, please. My compliments to the chef. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, good day. <laughs> I was like, I've wanted to get a huge, like a loaded potato so bad from McAllister's because they sell the spuds. And I'm always so embarrassed to just order a potato and leave. But that's what I do. Oh, do, do you have the confidence to do it? Yeah. I well. don't. <laughs> I don't have the confidence to be like, hey, can you take... A, p a potato in the back and basically put as many condiments as you would on a sandwich on it and then walk out. I feel like crap. Well, you're using the word confidence. Case means, for him, it's sh no shame. Yeah. Yours Shame is more confident. Is shameless. shameless. I would feel ashamed if I got something else from McAllister's. To oh. me, that's a potato-based restaurant. Well, Absolutely. <laughs> I want to do it, man. All right, let's get these Chicago potato facts here. So first off, 29% of us order fast food fries weekly. So a third of us out there. Now, I just, fast food fries. Now, I didn't have fast food fries every night, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Some were made at home and some were... I guess a, a pub is not a fast food situation. No, no, I wouldn't say so. Uh, I, would, I would not want to add on that I stopped at McDonald's and got some fries on the way home just for... <laughs> um, so th that seems like a high number, I guess. I don't know. 29%, like one in every third person listening right now gets fries weekly at fast food. Maybe not. I'm a know. part of that number. I believe it. Okay. Are you a part of that number, Kenzie? I don't think I get fast food weekly. I think I have fries weekly. Yeah. But not from fast food places like you. Like, I definitely have fries once a week, but not fast food fries. McDonald's is still our favorite, 46% in yes. Chicago. However, Wendy's is second. Do not sleep on Wendy's fries because they upped their game about two years ago. They got way better. Wendy's I fries Wendy's are fries stellar. Wendy's fries are kicking. Yeah. They got uh, the, nat the, the sea salt, natural cut with sea salt. Yeah. Hell yeah. And Chick-fil-A has the waffles, and they're third. Um, the problem with waffle fries is you've got to move on those. You cannot go to the chicken first because waffle fries cool fast. Yes, and then they're ass. You, but, nobody wants a cold potato. But when they're good waffle fries, like mm. crispy and, oh, mm -hmm. like waffle fries case. But you, I know, love you have to get in there, and they hold the sauce really nicely. It's, like yeah. a, it's almost like a, like a scoop. Yeah. It's like a shovel. Um, and our favorite French fry cuts. So regular fries are <laughs> number one in Chicago. Yeah, natural cut, if you will. Yeah, natural, as mm. nature intended. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> they come from the ground like that, right? Well, that's what they knew. Uh, curly fries are second, which surprised me. Why that does that, that surprise, surprise you? me? Because curly. They're fantastic. <sighs> but over waffle. How dare you? Over waffle. Crinkle cut should be actually second. I no, understand. crinkle cut is the worst fry. Are you 
Uh, you may have to go home. No. <laughs> I'm sending you okay, home. Well, all right. Well, if you Damn double it. dog, Jeremy. So we're going to bake potato and go home. No, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go pick up a, a plethora, a flight of fries, and I'm going to show you that crinkle cut is the worst. Are you telling me that Culver's crinkle cut fries are not tops? Tops? Tops. Over Arby's Curly? 100%. And I like... Pound cr- sand. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? Uh, listen, crinkle cut... With when they're hot, come out with the burger no. and ketchup. Oh, I, do, I they hold a lot of ketchup too. The crinkle no, cut in the ridges. Honestly, ridges. steak and crinkle are bottom of the list because they're fat and they're harder to season. There's not enough seasoning. Steak has a lot of potato and a smaller outside region to season it, <laughs> and that's the problem there. And the same goes for crinkle. They're often fat and under seasoned. I'm not saying there's not good ones. I'm not saying that. But if we're rating fries, I agree. And listen, I'm not doubting McDonald's might be number one. They're like, they're like, if crack, I don't know what crack's like, but crack must be good. Oh, it seems awesome. It must be great. Crack and crinkle. Yeah, but is it, crinkle was... should be right there, a high number two. I don't, like, curly aren't horrible, but the same thing. They cool off fast. So do waffles. And thick cut fries, I guess they mean steak fries, are like third place. Then it goes waffle, then crinkle cut on this order of Chicago people liking fries. I love crinkle cut when they're... Now, I will say they've got to be, like, Culver's crinkle cut. they got to be done right. Or, or Ida and the grocery. That's what I'm saying. Like, they they really got to be seasoned right. I think a lot of people mess up crinkle. It's not the crinkle's fault. It's the chef's <laughs> fault. It's not and crinkle same shaming? Steak. Uh, same with steak fries. It's not the fry's fault, okay? It's yeah. the person who under-seasons it. you got to know how to handle a steak cut because it's more potato that you're working with. Yep. And then dipping. What, what do you dip your uh, fries in, Kenzie? Um, well, I mean, I it, like my number one craving. I would say is the Arby sauce on the curly fry. Now, if we're talking, don't judge me. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm really gonna judge. Personal. I'm gonna tell you something really personal about myself right now. Oh boy. When I have just a normal fry with a lot of salt, because I add even extra salt when I get home, I like to dip it in mayo. Oh, that's I, I, okay. I thought it was I, something I groundbreaking. Get so judged by my family. Um, so judged, but I do. I it's like creamy with the salty. I'm very into, it, especially if you get like a garlic herb mayo. Isn't that what? Uh, no pun intended. The French do. Who dips them in mayo? Is it Canada or is it? Um, somebody know. in Europe does that. I, I I'm not know. familiar with non-United States I'll fry behavior. <laughs> it'll be uh, the person in Europe who does it. It'll be me when we go to London uh-huh. because that's what I do, baby. So the most popular dipping sauce is ketchup. Makes sense. I know. Uh, ranch is next. Ooh. You hate God, ranch. ranch sucks. <laughs> God, it's terrible. It is not terrible, you weirdo. Uh, cheese sauce is third. Now, Portillo's, I'm getting the cheese every time. I'll, I'll forego ketchup for the Portillo's fries. cheese dipping? Like yes. The, okay, I see what you're saying. Uh, barbecue sauce. And then mayonnaise mm. is actually Man- fifth. Mayonnaise is on the list? Fifth I feel, or sixth. I, I feel better. I feel better. You know what I found myself doing lately? And I don't know if Case... Well, Case wouldn't do this. Never mind. What? Hot sauce. Oh, I, well, yeah. what am I trying to kill myself? Well, yeah. No, I don't want hot sauce on my French fry. Okay. Actually, if we're going to do this, I like to mix mayo with my chalua. With what? With my chalua, like my hot sauce, chalua. Oh, okay. And I do mayo with chalua on my burgers, on my hot dogs, on my fries. So and I you, do the same thing. And there's a lot of ways you can buy, you know, hot mayo now, too. Like hot sauce mixed with mayo and stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Barbecue. I just mix my own fresh, fresh on site. Yeah. Get the mixture just right. Homemade. It, it is. So there squeeze, you go. Squeeze, squeeze. Different bottles. So there, so there you go. Uh, so you, are your normal average, below average of Chicagoans with, with fries and potatoes? Can I, don't I know. Can I throw another fry into the mix just to get our thoughts on it as a group here, a collective, wow. if you will? There's another one? There is. Well, it, kind of. It's a specific fry. Shoe we talked string? about Arby's. No, no, no. We talked about Arby's, McDonald's, Wendy's, et cetera, Culver's. I agree. Culver's has great fries. Mary Grace brought up on the text line, 847, the jewel potato wedges. Oh, when you get the fried chicken. Yeah. Where do those rank on your list? Because those might be my number one. Wow. Though, that, you did throw a wrench into this. I typically do. Have you had those, Kenzie, the potato wedges from Jewel? I have not had the potato wedges from Jewel. I have seen them. Again, my hesitancy is a lot of potato. <laughs> Can they handle it with the right amount of seasoning? Well, they season right. Okay. They're perfect. They are They are delicious. And they still have the skin on them. Yeah, exactly. Which I love. I uh, love that. Um, hmm. Well, I don't know if I can go on the show if I have to think about this. <laughs> do you want to grab can a cold drink of water? Can I just pick up some potatoes for us? Let's see what the big deal is. Which I'll one? be right back. Can you get a flight of potatoes? That's what I'm saying. Mm. And then we can compare. Who mm. sells potatoes this early in the morning? Uh, do, you want, do you want me to pull up DoorDash right now? I promise you. I can find a plethora of potatoes for sale. Be my guest. If I eat potatoes. Like ma- right now, I know we can get those McDonald's hash browns. 
right now. <laughs> I love how you couldn't even finish it. Hash browns. <laughs> well, I want more than one. Uh, all right. Well, there you go. Uh, you decide and let us know if you're normal or who has the best fries. I don't know. But it's like, uh, again, a cheesy topic, but no pun intended. But there you go. A third of us get fast food fries weekly. McDonald's is Chicago's favorite. Fr uh, favorite is just regular out of the ground. And then ketchup's the most uh, dipping sauce. There you go. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. The Brian and Kenzie Show on Q101. It's Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Remember to keep texting BALLER to 312-591-8300. That will get you a chance at the golden ticket. That word is active until 729. Then we'll give you a new word. So BALLER, B-A-L-L-E-R to 312-591-8300. But we're not going to get to the highlight of the weekend, I don't think. Everybody still wants to talk about potatoes on the text line. Well, it was the highlight of everybody's weekend, all I the guess. potatoes they had. I love this when first-time texters come in and join the party. This is RJ from Wheatfield, Indiana. Thanks for checking in. All he texted was, checkers fries are fire emoji. Ooh, mm. they're very thin. Uh, have you ever, have you had, uh, so checkers is actually rallies as well. If you have a rallies near you or a checkers, they're the same restaurant. Oh, you uh, know what I'm thinking you're, you're, of? You're thinking I'm of steak thinking and shake. shake. I was going to say. You knew it. Yes, that's I what I'm thinking of. I, how dare you think I didn't know. they are. You know what I'm talking about? Those are good because if you really like salt, you get a lot of salt in there because it's a little smaller potato amount. That's what I'm talking about, you guys. And you're you're on the money because Steak and Shake, which, by the way, was founded in Normal, Illinois, so it's a local business. Okay, period. <laughs> Steak and Shake has my favorite chicken tenders. It has some of my favorite fries, and it has the best buffalo sauce. Ooh. Really? I, I have I, not had the buffalo sauce oh there. Oh, my God. Very good to know. The problem is, is that... I grew up with a kid whose dad was on the Steak and Shake board of directors. Mm. And <laughs> <laughs> what a funny statement. <laughs> and so I've watched the Steak and Shake empire crumble over the last 15 years. Which and is it, heartbreaking. It breaks my heart. It because really does. Because every single time I'm at a Steak and Shake, it is the best food I can imagine. They're so good. And their shakes <laughs> are phenomenal. Oh, they my God. fantastic flavors, and no one's talking about it. I would just love to go back to third grade. What's your dad do? He's a fireman. What's your dad? He's on the board of directors for Steak and Shake. <laughs> That's power. That's power. Wow. That's clout. Oh, go. my goodness. Well, I, I, listen, and also, don't sleep on, by the way, since Checkers was brought up and rallies, their burger. There's just not a lot of locations. There's not a lot of them around there. There is not. You can tell that we have um, what definitely, you can tell what used to be a Checkers. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you know the building. <laughs> I, without a doubt. And right now, we have one that's a beef villa. And I'm like, well, you were obviously a Checkers. Like, a thousand percent. Because I always think we have a Checkers when I'm driving by it. And then I realize it's just a completely different business. Now. Someone's squatting in there selling barbecue. Well, we also have, um, in Elgin, a place that was obviously a pizza hut, which is now a Chinese restaurant. Oh. And so it has the, it has the top. And My I'm two like, favorites. Yeah, they painted it white. And I'm like, well, I know what's under there. <laughs> <laughs> I know what's under the hood, if you know what I mean. Oh. Brian, I have, a, I have a question because the text line, it, for as much as they're enjoying this, they also have a question about the lack of tater tots being mentioned. Do you have any facts That's on tater so tots? That's so fair. And I, yeah. I would like to apologize now. Yes, because representation is important and nobody's getting represented I in the tater tot to. community. He just started bringing up fries yeah. and I just, I'm sorry. I know it doesn't seem like something that would slip my mind, and mm -hmm. it sounds like an excuse is what mm -hmm. it sounds like. It's not one. I apologize. It actually did slip yes. my mind. You and, know? and we see you, we hear you, and we're listening. Yeah, thoughts and prayers to the tater tot. Of course. They're amazing. It Never deserves, forget. It deserves it. Yeah. I got to admit. Don't say something bad right now. <laughs> I can't get racist against tater tots. No, so you can't. There's no way I can screw this up. Don't do it. Um, what a thing to hear, by the way, if you just got in the car. <laughs> Put some respect on what they've been through and what they do. I didn't, I, at top of my head, I didn't realize that tater tots were potatoes. I understand completely. I, I didn't think they were in the potato family. Now, what did you think tater stood for? <laughs> I just, I know, I'm asking. <laughs> When I, you heard the word tater... I thought they were their own food. I you thought, thought tater it was tots, a separate food group? Yeah, another food group. Ah. So now, now you've got my head thinking on this, but we don't have time to go into tater tots. We just don't. We got a lot going on. I mean, people checked in with their highlights of the weekend and uh, the Bears' victory. We'll get to that we in don't sports. We not hear about it if it doesn't involve a fry, okay? Yeah, <laughs> yeah but, but like Kenzie and Kay said, we hear you, we see you, tater tot people. We understand. It's I can a, give you a fry-based highlight of the weekend. A fry-based? Highlight of the weekend. Okay. Want to know this? I went to the Renaissance Fair. Yeah. Got the Spanish fries at the Renaissance Fair. Oh. 
Delightful. They're layered with all this stuff. They like like onion. Like they have all this stuff on them, and they're all fried up. Oh, oh my god. Boy. Oh my god. Well, there's a highlight. Uh, there let's, you go. Listen, let's get the Gil Curtis. We're up against it here. Uh, I don't know if he likes fries or not. This is not headline news. A Denver man got arrested for pulling a gun on a Burger King worker who refused drugs as payment. What a moron. Everyone knows that only works at Hardee's. A fedora worn by Harrison Ford in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom went for $630,000 at auction. Meanwhile, at the same auction, a DVD of Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny was used to level the auction table. Rob Schneider says he doesn't get invited onto late-night TV shows because of his politics. Um, should I tell him or should you? And Kevin Costner's Horizon will hit streaming services this Friday, giving viewers the opportunity to ignore it again, only this time at home. This is not headline news. Brian and Kenzie in the morning, and Chicago's alternative all day. Q101.